What's good, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to bounce a MIDI to a wave file. So we're going to make this pattern right here an audio wave. This is uh, layered. I'm sure you have your reasons as to why you want to do this, mainly to save CPU space, uh, perhaps it's clipping, etc. So uh, we're going to um, bounce this and see how it's layered. This is the sound right here. So what we're going to do is right click in the pattern picker. If you want to pull up the pattern picker, hit Alt P. Alt P, and it'll pull up the pattern picker. Well, Peter Piper, pick, pick the pattern pick, pattern picker. All right, so right click on the pattern that you want to render. Render is audio clip. Okay, so uh, we're gonna select wave, high quality. We can choose to leave remainder or cut remainder, um, and you know that's that's kind of up to you. I prefer to leave remainder, uh, but you know you can cut it if that's what you want to do depending on like where you are in your track but we're going to do leave remainder 24 bit int make sure this is a 24 bit int and then 512 point sync hq for all plugins da 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 and then hit start it's going to take a bit of time but uh yeah so uh bouncing midi files i didn't know they were leaving fl studio <laughs> oh um yeah, it's 27 sec seconds. It's about as long as this video. <laughs> Total time. 16 bars, 16. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're over here. And uh, so we're going to hit here to select it. You got to drag it in there. So uh, hit the audio channel. What? <laughs> hit the audio channel. And uh, there she goes. And uh, we'll cut that off and bam. Pretty lit, right? So uh, that's how you bounce MIDI clips in FL Studio. We'll do it one more time for those at home. And uh, oh yeah, we might, we also have to place this in the mixer channel. Say it's clipping or something like that. Say you want to EQ it. Make sure you replace it in the mixer channel. Let's do it one more time for, the, for those at home from a different angle. I'll, I'll be up here this time. Uh, we're going to hit Alt P. Alt P, Alt P, and we'll do the dun dun part. So we'll take this pattern. We're gonna right click. We're going to go to render as audio clip, 24 bit int, 512 point sync, HQ for all plugins. Start. T tell jokes for 16 minutes, seconds, seconds. It's like a very limited stand up set. Um, wow, I didn't know. What does FL stand for? Um, Fast Lane, which is my last name, Lane. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, do the old draggeroo. And there she goes. Oh, can I just replace these? Replace all these? Oh, I should have done the cut, but whatever. If, if you cut it, it's just literally going to cut it off like right here. So it, it's really the same as just doing this. They're pretty much the same, but it's basically what the cut would look like. And again, it's going to sound out there. It seems to have like a lot more sound, to be honest with you. To be honest with you. No cap, I'm not going this far. Oh, yeah. So it'll have a totally different setting. See, I have this one turned down a little bit. So keep in mind, it's a totally different file now. Or it's a, it's a totally different file. That's like, that's really like, uh, so it's a good thing I showed that. But yeah, that's that's how you do that in this Bounce Midis and FL Studio 20, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hot. Peace out.